AD, yes. Jessica, Amy, Love is Blind season six is here. We're ready. The fans are ready. Are you guys, first off, how are you feeling? You know, knowing that the world is getting ready to watch you go on this wild dating experience. How are you feeling? <laughs> It couldn't. Lost you know. words. <laughs> yeah. There's, no, just, there's really no way to explain it. Just, but it's been such a long journey, and I think we can. I can speak for everyone when I say we're just ready for the world to see yeah. all the all the hard work we put in, all the friendships we've bonded over. Like, there's a lot to see. There's yeah. a lot to see. It's exciting. We're nervous. I mean, I think we're all just hoping that everyone receives us well and <laughs> just gives us grace. Yeah. 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 Are you? yeah. No. I mean, I feel like. It'll definitely be a memorable experience. So, like, we're obviously very nervous about it all, but I know that, you know, we're strong, confident women That's and right. that it's all going to be amazing at that. Yeah. So. Yeah. You all obviously came on this show for a different type of dating experience that you wasn't receiving like, before this. Dating in the past is so different, so unique. But was there ever a moment where you guys was like, okay, I can't. I have to throw my towel in. I think I want to bow out. This is way too much. Yes. But they don't <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. 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 Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> More than once probably. What, what what was the moment that made you go like, okay, I don't know what I'm doing here? Uh, for me, uh, there were certain conversations that I couldn't participate in on camera just because I knew uh, like my daughter would potentially see the show and there were important conversations that you want to have with the man that you're gonna potentially marry. And so when I wasn't able to like connect fully on those levels that I knew some of the other girls were, I was kind of like, okay, I, I gotta leave, like, maybe this isn't for me. But yeah. I saw it through and I saw the process through and it, it happened how it was supposed to. What was that moment like for you, Amy, dating in the I past? mean, I feel like it was very similar in the sense that, like, you know, I was missing my family and it was just overwhelming. There were a lot of emotions going yeah. on, obviously, so um, it was just kind of a moment where I was just like, Am I doing the right thing? Like, I felt selfish partaking in this um, because I've always put my family first. And this is, like, the time that I actually put myself first. And so there was a lot of doubt, like, in the back of my head. Like, is this really for me? And so um, it just kind of got to a point where I'm just like, maybe I should head out now. Yeah. So. So, yeah. Dating in the pods. Okay, you're going from dating in the pods, getting proposed to, planning a wedding. That turnaround is so quick. That is insane. But um, without giving away too much, did you ladies get to live this fairy tale, plan the possible wedding of your dreams? Was that whole experience what you dreamed of growing up as a girl? You know, planning your wedding, you want this, I want that. Did that all fall into place on this show? I would say that I was just kind of leaving it to faith for a lot of things. I feel like there's so many things um, that comes to planning a wedding. And so um, it was just kind of taking it day by day, really, and going with the flow. I mean, that's the best I can describe it as, and just kind of hoping for the best and not being, you know, super crazy about wanting everything to be perfect, just really just being chill about it in yeah. the best way possible. What about JD? Uh, I was not the girl that grew up dreaming about a wedding. I really didn't have the colors or the perfect dress, so just having that opportunity to even go pick out a dress and try it on was all brand new to me. It was all brand new feeling, so um, that was an experience that I'll, I'll never forget. Yeah. I want to go back to you, Jessica. You mentioned your daughter. Mm -hmm. I watched the first few episodes. I know she was a huge you know, thing with you. You were nervous, and I would have been too, coming into this and letting the guys know like, hey, I'm a mom, have a 10 year old daughter, she's my world, you either get with it or not. How was that process? How did you navigate that? Because that's a lot. I don't think I've seen the show and there's been a mom come up here. I think maybe you're the first one, I don't wanna say that, but what was that whole process like for you, that balance? Um, honestly, it came so naturally. I didn't really have like a set plan for going in and telling each of the men I was dating that I had a child, I just let it happen organically in conversation. Um, I didn't lead with it because I wanted the men to get a chance to get to know me first uh, before I led with me being a mother, but there were certain conversations that came up like, are you interested in having children or do you like children? And so those would usually be an appropriate time for me to be like, oh, well, of course I want children. And by the way, I already have a head start. <laughs> Been there, done that. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, was your daughter on board with this? Because ultimately, at the end of this, she could have a possible stepdad in her life. So she's going to have to go through a 
basically a, a transition the same way you're doing on this show. Is she on board with this whole thing? She was absolutely more than on board. Um, she was my biggest supporter. There was a lot of planning and preparation that went into me going into the experience. Um, also, her dad is remarried and has a stepmom, so she knows how that part goes. Um, but ultimately, she wanted me to be happy, and she was she was ready for it. And our experience would have been different than maybe that of one of the other girls. But I mean, I I was kind of taking it as I went. Yeah, AD all day, AD all day. <laughs> all day. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Let's talk about Matthew for a second. Let's talk about Matthew. He was a character. He was a character. But you guys had a connection, and I think he was your connection with him was. To me, it was a strong connection. Yeah. But you also had a connection with my boy, Clay. Oh, Clay. <laughs> so what was your balance? How did you <sighs> let your heart decide for you who was the right guy, who was the right match? Yeah, for sure. Um, they both, Clay and Matthew, I mean, they offer different things. Um, and I was a different person with each of them. With Clay, I felt very at home. I felt very safe. Um, I felt like we spoke the same language. I yeah. felt like we were... Amy said the same font, like we just are the same person, like just from around the way. Um, whereas in Matthew, he offered a sense of security in a different way. Um, he offered the lifestyle that I had kind of dreamed about of just kind of being at home and being taken care of and being yeah. pampered and like him being that strong figure. Yeah. Amy, being in those pods and hearing I love you, did you expect <laughs> to hear that so soon in the game? No, I was so caught off guard. I was like, excuse me, what did you say? You what me? I was like, what? Um, no, but I feel like at that moment, I was definitely feeling the same thing. Yeah. It's just one of those awkward things. You don't really know how to vocalize and when to vocalize. Like, it's one of those things that we overthink so much. And so when he said it, I mean, I was feeling it too. And so, you know. Yeah, yeah. And as I'm sitting here, I'm like gazing at all your fingers. <laughs> Are we engaged? Are we single? Guess you'll just have yeah, to wait yeah, and see. Yeah, wait and see. Okay, okay. I love this coy that everyone's going for today. I love that. <laughs> Last question. Is love truly blind? And would you go through this entire process all over again? Yes. Absolutely. Agreed. Yeah. Agreed. It. Yeah. Why? It taught me so much about myself and leading with vulnerability and that aspect of co like completely connecting emotionally before physically. I think so many people don't realize how important that is. Yeah. yeah. I feel like in our generation, we put the physical first, and that's that's not the most important thing. And so I feel like having the safe space where we could get as deep as we wanted to just really allowed connection to form organically. Yeah. And maybe you? I agree with these ladies said. I mean, there's things that you can't do in the real world. There's questions that you would never ask on a first date, and having those opportunities behind that wall to just kind of let that go and be like, well, I want to get married to you, and it not be a weird thing, which it just allowed so much more openness and realness. Yeah. So I would 100%. Mm -hmm.